Everyone, how's it going? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and the news has finally been confirmed that I think many of us out there pretty much figured was going to happen. And that, of course, is that Disney is pretty confident that Pirates of the Caribbean can survive without Johnny Depp. Yeah, because that seems to make sense, right? You have a franchise of five films uh, that have been mega successful, maybe not so much the last one, but a lot of them have been mega successful. And you decide you want to, you know, you want to you wanna move forward with rebooting without the person who probably made it uh, as successful as it is. Actually, I would go as far as to argue did, in fact, make it uh, as big as it is. Not to say that uh, the con contributions of Jeffrey Rush and Keira Knightley and Orlando Bloom did not help at all, especially Bill Nighy with being Davy Jones. Mm, mm, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Did it really, did it, did it really, really, really uh, uh, contribute to the success of Pirates of the Caribbean? And the answer to that is clearly no. But uh, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick were recently hired by Disney to work on a Pirates of the Caribbean reboot. And it was rumored, uh, fairly assumed, that that meant Johnny Depp would not be involved. Now, Disney's president of production, Sean Bailey, uh, had this to say when asked if pirates can survive without Depp. He says, we want to bring new energy and vitality. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, but part of the reason why Paul and Rhett are so interesting is that we want to give it a kick in the pants, and that's what I've tasked them with. So this is coming from the, the top down. This is coming from the top down uh, about whether or not, you know, Johnny Depp would be involved. Now, the thing is, is Rhett and, and, and Paul can probably kick it enough in the pants to make it interesting and engaging and swashbuckling and, and epic and adventure filled and all those things. I have full faith in them as being writers to be able to deliver on that kind of product because they've done this times in the past with Deadpool 1, Deadpool 2, Zombieland. Uh, life was interesting enough, although it just kind of failed to reach that audience. But they know what to do. I think they know what to do here. But at the same time, at the same time, not giving us a solid end to the to the Captain Jack Sparrow character is going to ultimately end up hurting the franchise. That would be unless they they opt for a new trilogy and they do the first one without Jack Sparrow, but reference him many times. And then the second one, bring him back only to kill him off finally in the third. Given the success uh, of Johnny Depp's performance in The Crimes of Grindelwald, it makes sense that this might be something they're looking into. It makes sense that this might be something that they may want to explore. The problem with the Pirates of the Caribbean post-original trilogy uh, films is that they don't have a grounding in a larger story, right? You know, you had this, the, the first movie or the fourth film at Worlds, I think it was a, uh, On Stranger Tides, was it? And uh, so you, you had you had On Stranger Tides, which was all about the Fountain of Youth, which was cool. And then you had this last one, which was Dead Men Tell No Tales, which, again, was really interesting, uh, but uh, but a single standalone film that at the end of it opened up for a cliffhanger. And at the end of it opened up an idea to keep the franchise going. Now, the question with this is, is the ending of the fifth movie going to end up being where they take the franchise is Orlando Bloom no longer being the captain of the Flying Dutchman uh, after the whatever it was device that they were able to destroy in, in number five uh, brought him back to to land to be with uh, to be with Elizabeth and his son. Uh, is that going to be a thing or are we going to see it change entirely where they're, they're not going to have uh, Captain Davy Jones come back to reclaim the Flying Dutchman uh, to take his vengeance on Will for killing him? Or is that going to be? where things are. We, we don't know yet, but I think Disney is missing out here and not trying to play the long game. One of the reasons why when it comes to Star Wars, people are excited about the upcoming uh, series of films from the guys who brought us Game of Thrones is that they're going to create an, an anthology. They're going to create this, this very long arc that's going to, uh, you know, cover multiple films, multiple stories. And I think if they're going to reboot the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and they're going in for multiple movies, the best thing they could possibly do would be to, in fact, create uh, an arc that takes us from point A to point B with a few diversions in between, uh, filled with very interesting characters, but it's still on a mission to stop something, save something, destroy something, whatever, uh, and give us that solid trilogy with the beginning, a middle, and an end that people are going to come back for. One of the things that worked very well with Pirates of the Caribbean uh, Dead Man's Chest was that it tied in directly to At World's End. They shot the films back to back. It was meant to be a continuation of the story as well as setting up for a conclusion. And that's where the other two films ultimately failed. 
people like to go and see films that are going to have a beginning, a middle, and an end in regards to a franchise. Considering the fact that Pirates of the Caribbean is a tentpole for Disney, not establishing it with a greater lore to make it flesh out these films, I think ultimately hurt it. And the same thing probably happened with Solo, is it just wasn't set up for a larger uh, series of events. It was simply just as put out there as a standalone, which in this day and age, in these kind of movies, a standalone is not something people want. They want there to be a larger, uh, something in the distance to look forward to. I think Marvel movies have really, really, really shaped people's minds about that. And you're not going to get away from that as much as they may think. But anyway, what do you feel about a confirmed Johnny Depp less Pirates of the Caribbean franchise? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Do you just not care? Did the last few films suck? And you're like, I'm just over it. These are things I want to know. Let me know down in the comments, or you can call into our voicemail line at 818-350-3281. That's 818-350-3281. As always, my name is Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. Have yourself a fantastic day, guys, and peace out.